peripheral chemoreceptors. Peripheral chemoreceptors are important for both re regulation of respiration and the regulation of arterial blood pressure. Today we will discuss the role of peripheral chemoreceptors, especially carotid bodies, on regulation of respiration. At first, we should ask ourselves, where are peripheral chemoreceptors? They are present in aortic arch and carotid bodies. Aortic arch and carotid bodies. As we notice, carotid bodies are present at the bifurcation of the common carotid artery. As we notice here, carotid, uh, now we will discuss carotid body and its role in regulation of respiration. Carotid body is present at the bifurcation of the common carotid, as we notice. Carotid body is formed from uh, two types of cells, two types of cells in each glomus cells, sustentacular cells and or subcortic cells and actually receptor cells. How carotid body works? What is the role of carotid body in regulation of respiration? Carotid body, as we mentioned, has got certain glomus cells. Glomus cells contain certain potassium channels which are sensitive to oxygen. So they are called oxygen sensitive potassium channels. When there is hypoxia or low oxygen tension in the arterial blood, there is affection of oxygen sensitive potassium channel in the form of its closure. So low oxygen tension causes closure of potassium channel. Oxygen tension in the patient causes closure of oxygen sensitive potassium channel lead to accumulation of potassium inside the glomus cells in the carotid body resulting in a state of depolarization which result in turn into opening of voltage gated calcium channel increasing calcium influx which causes release of certain chemical transmitter catecholamine in nature which is mainly dopamine which affect certain receptors, D receptor or dopamine receptors and sensory neuron that synapse with this glioma cell and carotid body, initiates action potential, who wish to pass to affect the medullary respiratory centers, dorsal respiratory group, to increase ventilation. Now, we can discuss the uh, ventilator response to oxygen lack. Ventilator response to oxygen lack or decreased oxygen tension. When there is lack of oxygen in the atmosphere, cause decrease in the uh, oxygen tension in the arterial blood, which leads to closure of oxygen sensitive potassium channel resulting in potassium accumulation inside the glomus cell and carotid body with cell depolarization, opening a voltage-gated calcium channel, calcium influx into the glomus cell and carotid body, exocytosis of dopamine from glomus cell, action potential and sensory neuron transmitted from the glomus cell transmitted from the glomus body through carotid sinus nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve into the medullary respiratory center to increase ventilation. 